right, sorry about that. It looks like some technical difficulty happened. Back up here on the stream, Cashman, two aces, raised 100 and a quarter, and a hijack. JD, four deuce of clubs, going to defend the small blind. King, queen, nine, two spades. Cashman, aces, with the best of it. Ace of spades in his hand, 350 in the middle, checks back. Five of spades picks up the nut flush draw for Cashman. JD drawing dead. Checks. Cashman. He's going to bet now 175. JD folds. All right, welcome back to the stream. Twenty-five fifty with the fifty-dollar big blind ante. Sorry about that. Looks like some technical difficulty happened. Um, I am Paul to Sony Gator, uh, broadcasting in the booth tonight with Eddie. I'll be playing tomorrow on the five-five ten stream. Hope to see you there. Carlos under the gun. One hundred and fifty ace ten offsuit. Cashman Falls, Palo Falls, JD, 4 3 of Diamonds. He's going to defend. 150 on the button. King Jack 5 Rainbow, Carlos with the best of it. Ace 10 offsuits, got the gutter to the nuts. Going to check it over to JD on the button. And he checks back. Ace on the turn makes Carlos the best hand. JD has got a gutter ball. Carlos checking to make sure he has an ace. And he's going to bet 250. An easy fold from JD. Two diamonds. Queen six of clubs. Gonna lay it down. Cashman gonna lay it down. Mr. White. Hello. King six of diamonds gonna mix it up here in the hijack. 175 to go. Moneymaker gonna fold. Z fish defending. 150 called with the ace eight of spades. Carlos Jack three offsuit in the big blind. What is he thinking about? Gonna make a move here. No, he's just gonna give it up. Deuce four six all spades. Flopping Z fish the nuts. Paolo with top pair. He's gonna see bet for 150. Z fish. Stone nuts gonna call 150. Irrelevant five of diamonds on the turn. Paolo officially drawing dead. See fish checking the nuts over. Check back. Nine of clubs on the river. Not going to make a difference in this hand. See fish with the stone nuts. It's going to lead out. I think it was at 375. Paolo with a six. Not the best board for his hand at all. And he's going to hero it. And you see the bad news.
right, gonna be picking up action back again here. Looks like we're in hand 60. Hand 60. Cash been under the gun, raising it up to 100 and a quarter. Ace 10 of hearts. Z fish on the button. Queen Jack also makes the call. J win 9 7, a big line call on 75. Carlos, 8 deuce of clubs. Octo deuce making the call in the big line. No one with diamonds. J win with, with a good shot. With a diamond himself. Z fish one diamond. Queen Jack. Four clubs. Doesn't change too much on this board. Does bring in a hand like two, three, seven, eight. Brings in the um, straight draw for Carlos as well, a seven or a three, and Jaywin actually turns an open ender. Four hearts on the river, irrelevant card. Four, very, very irrelevant card. Cashman here with the best hand with just ace high. Checks like all the way around. One day you're gonna pretty soon you're gonna be playing this game and you're not gonna be in the booth with me. I predict that. <laughs> that ace king of ace king suited fold. I was like, just no way he's gonna fold here. Because you, you were in position. What did you to, think right? I was gonna do with that hand? I thought you would at least because you were on the button, weren't you? Yeah, uh, I was in position. I, I think I was behind the button. Yeah. Basically, the button for that hand. Yeah. It was heads up. Um, I I was like, at least so at least call. And I was not expecting a fold. You know, you could, you, you bet he three bet. You could have mixed in a four bet with a, with a flat. I was not expecting a fold. I was not expecting a fold. A full unfold. Yeah. JD here with a gutter to a straight. Paired board. Backdoor clubs. Z fish here. Pocket pair of fives. fives. Eight of clubs. Okay. Okay, yeah. That's a decent turn card now. Z fish with the open ender. JD gut shot. But the gut shot's drawn dead and the clubs are live. Five of clubs would be awesome. Five of clubs would be quite the card. And actually, yeah, that, that would be the card, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Make JD the, the um, flush. And it's a small flush, though. Yeah. Cool house. <laughs> 800. <laughs> Big bet, 80% pot here. And this is a good card for him to barrel on, though, because it improves his equity position, even though Z-Fish with the best hand with pocket fives. And oh, I was just what? kidding. Six of clubs. Six of clubs. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Oh, my gosh. This is gross. So counterfeiting Z-Fish. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so we were thinking we, we no, really we're wanted the five of clubs. Yeah, five of clubs. But the six of clubs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> but, yeah. I, I thought it was a fire club. Sorry. Right. I, I saw a low six. I saw a low club card, and I got way too excited. A little excited. Eight hundred. Super value bet here. Z fish. Is, do you think he's going to come in for a raise here and try to take it down, or is he just going to give up? We know he's not going to call. He's obviously he's counterfeited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a lot of hands like being like you know the back door flush gets there. Right. Counterfeited two pair. Now one of the things that I'm that I've learned, especially at one two even two five, like the importance of backdoor equity. Yeah. Uh, a lot of Absolutely. players at, at at the low stakes don't factor that into the decision making in terms of you know raising or folding or calling or continuing. Right. Or even being able to see that you know. And when you get there, yeah. Man, it does it create a big pot. Again, in our earlier streams, it was so tough. Um, it was so tough for us to even fill the one-two live stream. Really? Yeah, that I would jump in. 
just to fill a seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was tough to fill? <laughs> Hell yeah. It was. That should be easy. You would think so. Now, with that being said, like six months ago, on a Friday night, maybe five tables at most. We have 14 tables going right now. Right. So. So this place really picked up. Yeah. A, a, a lot. I think the live stream helped. The, the, the partnership with NextGen helped. And, okay. You know, just that. And a lot of people, uh, you know, they didn't know about Poker House, and at that time, we were only two or three tables. And if you look at other rooms across the nation with two or three tables, and you never play there, you don't think too much of the room. Well, yeah, I can see that. And then when, but when you come in here, you know, it's a beautiful room. I love the room. Yeah, I cool. love the seating for the food. Right. High stakes area by itself. Yeah. A lot of space. In a lot between. of space is very nice. I've heard players say, you know, it's like the... Um, the cheers of poker where everybody knows your name so like everybody's really friendly here yeah it's an enjoyable experience here i i really um i like it a lot here i honestly wish that there was more two five and five ten off stream going on yeah i can get you i can find i, I can get you those games for the record yeah i'm in Ace King nine board. Everybody with everybody's outs. You're right. <laughs> Mr. White with the best of it though. He has King Jack. J win you know. Bet two hundred. Talk about so, talking a lot about this backdoor equity here. J win with just air. Mr. White with the best hand, which is a pair of kings. Mr. White going to call it 200. Cashman floating with the Jack-10 of hearts at backdoor equity, and he's got a piece of it now. He now has an open entry. Yeah, so 26 viewers in the chat. Yeah, have to restart. Sorry about that. Cashman going to bet his open ender here on the turn after being checked to 700. Are you superstitious at all? Nope. You know, it's unlucky to be superstitious. Yeah, touche. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not even the superstition. It's more like, oh, I need to sit in a certain seat or blah, blah, blah. Or right. Buy chips and X amount. It's more like, I told you kind of like when I was going through a mental block where like, oh, is this a bad, is this going to be another day where I lose? So I wouldn't, call that right. super, I wouldn't call that superstitious per se. But like, you know, I know some... There's a couple of people that are actually in the room right now. Like, they'll table change, like, every 30, 45 minutes because they're not hitting cars. And I'm just like... Really? Just oh, because of yeah. that? Now, if, you, if, you, if I'm in a room and you see me table change, it's not because, like, I'm, I'm running bad or because... It's because you're game selecting. Yeah, I'm game selecting. Yeah. And I rarely table change. I, I say real, that's not true. If I start a new game... Uh, if I start a new game... Like... Before, before, like before we started doing a lot of stream, stream stuff. Oh, JD here. Two aces, with the three bet to seven fifty. Snap full J win there. Um, kind of when before I started really getting involved with the live stream, I'd be out on the floor and like I'd work here or whatever it was. You know, I'd help them start. I was like, hey, if you need me to start a new game, you need like one more pair, I'll play that game. And if I get into the game. Like I said, like a, but a lot of times before the stream, I'll play maybe like three or four hour blocks, right? Just to get some volume in, and and then I'll sit on a on a new table. Even though the five the cap is five hundred, a lot of times these new tables with new players will buy for like three hundred max, right? And so I'm like, well, I'm not, there's no point in me putting five hundred at this point, sure. right? Let's, yeah, I'll, I'll put in three hundred. Three hundred. Right? Yeah, and so then you know they'll pick up some chips. I'll add on, and then as soon as that table gets full, I'm like put me on the transfer list for X table. Yeah. So, so this is what I was talking about. Carlos in early position with these types of events likes to Raising open. 150, up. yeah. Yeah, and in late position likes to call. So, very interesting. Um, 
JD making a call, Moneymaker making a call. Ten high board, two hearts. Moneymaker flopping the best of it. JD open ended backdoor clubs. Carlos with overs. Yeah, good check back by Carlos here. Knows that's not a good board for him. No, two spades. Here's the spades. Irrelevant card here. Moneymaker with the best hand. I wonder if he's going to barrel here. Maybe let's see if J JD takes over the betting lead here. Right. If it was a two of clubs, I definitely, he's definitely betting here. Yeah, he's okay. definitely that. and he's he, But he is betting here anyways with the deuce of spades. Moneymaker going to call. Carl's probably going to float. I would fold. Yeah, definitely. Eight of spades, pairs of board. Misses JD completely. See if he's going to barrel again. I bet you Moneymaker snap calls. Any bet. Oh, what's up? Call. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? He's gonna snap yeah. call anybody. Definitely, yeah. Nailed that. I never, I've never actually, I've never actually seen him snap call that quick before. So that was pretty fast. That was uh, <laughs> Phil Carl to beat him into the pot. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos is questioning life now. Did you hear him? He's like, call the ten seven offsuit. He's questioning <laughs> life at this point. Oh man. Poker House Live said, I'm not superstitious, but I'm a little stitious. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Are they going to get another player in? Not sure. Mr. White, King 10 of clubs in the hijack. But look at this. Paolo with King Queen offsuit. Moneymaker two nines in the small blind. Do you ever, do you ever three bet that ant to light position open in the call? Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of hands that I that 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 I'm gonna three bet that's worse than two nines. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't disagree with that statement in, in any capacity. Um, 200 for Mr. White. Going to see about the ace tray, four board, two spades. Money maker with the best of it. I think he calls one street at least. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. What a miracle on the turn. Baker's pair on the turn. Baker, a Baker's pair of nines. There you go, Lego, just for you. I was talking about like those Kennedy hands, you right? Know, things. He was talking about, and Mr. White still bluffing. I think he just calls here. I don't think you need to. Do you raise here, or do you try to keep his bluffs in, or oh, you think he has an ace? I think I'm just calling. Yeah. Okay, he does come in for a raise. He does. 1900. Slightly over 3x. Snap fold. Gives it right up. Was hoping that Mr. White had an ace there. Absolutely. And, and he played it like he had an ace. Yeah, he did. Yeah, anything he could continue with, for sure. How often do you play? Um, about... Six days a week. Okay. A lot of it online, a lot of it live, or? Most of it's been online since 2020 when COVID happened. Gotcha. Because the casino shut down. Yep. Where I was when COVID happened. Okay. So then everybody started, like, opening their own, like, clubs on the internet. Right. And I just started playing on there. And there was a gigantic influx, or, like, what I like to call the COVID boom. Right. Of online poker. And, and I'm playing more live now, um, but mainly just once a week here and just a little bit at T 
TCH two five. Gotcha. Mainly just here. If I had a preference, I would just play here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I love the environment here. Yeah, it's super um, great. But I also like being on the internet because I can be at home and kind of. Yeah. Uh, and you know, my son's still a newborn. So how, how old's your son? He's three months. Oh, he's a super newborn. Yeah, he's super tiny. So. Uh, I like being home and taking a break from playing live poker. I yeah. can be home at the, t at the time being, but I'm going to play more live. I'm just slowly playing yep. more live because I want to spend more time at home, family. So question, as you, we talked about like the 2-5 game here. It's got a 1,500 cap. Yeah. Would you like to see that match the stack? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would I've play it with 1,500, but I prefer match the stack. I'm getting those requests as well, and that's something, you know, you're gonna get you're gonna get mixed reviews. You're gonna get the guys that say no, and you're gonna get the guys that say yes. Yeah. So I've I've been getting more yeses than nos. And I feel like you're gonna get more yeses. Um. And so, if you would have asked us six months ago about making it match the stack, it probably wouldn't have made sense at that point when we couldn't get a two five game. So I kind of, from my understanding, the thought logic back in the day was let's cap it just so we can try to get it in. But now that we're getting it, a lot of people yeah, want to play match the stack. And now you can kind of just yeah. make it a little bit bigger, right? Yeah, just the match the, stacks, the, match the stack in itself is just it's huge. Not, it's nuts. It is. It makes the games way bigger than the actual blind size. Moneymaker Ace-8 here going to barrel the 6-6 tray board. Jay win two fours. $75 bet for Moneymaker. Not real big. CJ win making a call At here. least peeling one straight. Yeah, $75. Definitely see that. <laughs> Ostentatious. Eight of clubs. Now Bunny Maker turning eights up, eights and sixes with ace kicker. Now when when Money Maker double barrels double barrels here. He can be putting him on some over pairs. This is a For good board. Sure. Yeah, even though Moneymaker has eight here, it's a good board you could potentially check raise on. Yeah, gonna make the call. Make the call. See what this river is gonna bring. King of hearts. King of hearts. Probably gonna go check check. Yeah, I could see check check for sure. I don't know what Moneymaker is gonna try to extract value out of. Unless he truly believes that Jay wins got a hand like he does and wants to call, or maybe some type of weird ace eye holdings, but I think he would he's really targeting a thin range here. Three, pocket fours, pocket five. I think with that king of hearts on the river now, I think you're just gonna have to wave the white flag if you're Jay Win. Yeah, I, I definitely would um want to wave the white flag here for sure. Um, I, I, if this is a non-face card river or a non-face card or a non-ace, I wouldn't be surprised if Jay would have called here. I think he's trying to run through some hands. I can make the fold. The internet game's been drying up lately, so, you know, mainly I've been looking to play some type of, like, private games that are you know 510-ish or 2-5 okay. um, I see sometimes there's like a private 2-5 game here and I'd like to start playing the 2-5s when they run here Yeah, so I can be out a little bit more often I'll play the 1-2 you know if I feel like just going out and just playing some poker right <laughs> you know I'm I'm not one of those people that I have to play ten and a quarter or five ten. I, I will play whatever game. It don't matter if it's right. fifty cent dollar. I'm in there. <laughs> Action's action, baby. A six of space for J D. Yeah, it looks like that's the end of that hand. Back to forty viewers in the chat. And how long you been doing the uh, stream, uh, commentating? Uh, since since August? the beginning, right? No, so they got this stream a while back. So like last February, they did this 100K free roll, and they okay. brought in Eric, set it in, and I think staff and management realized it was a lot more complicated than it looked. Right. With that being said, 
they brought him back to stream uh, a, a tournament in the summer. That was August? So I've been in the booth pretty much ever since August. Moneymaker, two sevens, raising 150. Cashman, pocket threes, laying it down. Mr. White, eight three. What do you think about this call from Jay when on the button with a non suited ace? Um, don't like it. Not something that I'd really want to. Ace of Diamonds, though, that's a really good card for this board. Moneymaker flopping a set of sevens. Yeah. Lots of set. Another Baker's pair of sevens. I'd rather have a six of diamonds than it would a six off. Right. Money maker's like, really? Come on. <laughs> right. I'm like losing all the value here. But maybe Jay Wynn was just playing that hand to flop a hand like six six or a yeah. six or something, because not really much more value to have he had with that hand. Unless you think Money Maker's raising King Ten or something to call him with a kind of a bad ace there. <laughs> Somebody just sat down in the yeah, 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 right? hold on. <laughs> JD ace 10 off 150 gonna raise it under the gun. Z fish folding Carlos J win. <laughs> Fallo, Mr. White, Queen 10 of clubs in the small blind, going to raise it up to 700. Let's see what JD does. Oh, Ronnie, I'll get you points. I'm sorry. I, think, I don't think people realize how hard it is to manage all this stuff. I'll take care of you right now, Ronnie. Again, I'm sorry. None of you guys see this side of production. It's ridiculously complicated, and it's time consuming. <laughs> Do me a favor and just type in exclamation points. Ace King offsuit moneymaker under the gun. Raised up to $150. JD, big blind, probably going to defend here. Queen 10 of clubs calling the $100. So now we're 375 in the skillet. 759 rainbow. Padoogie. Right. Moneymaker with the best hand. Moneymaker checking back. Ronnie, I would love for you to come here and see how complicated Turn it is. Six of diamonds. <laughs> Gator's not allowed to touch anything except for the mute button and the volume button because there's lots of buttons in here. There's a lot of buttons. There's a here. lot of buttons in here. <laughs> and in fact, Eric, Eric, I'm one of the only people that Eric trusts to touch stuff and set stuff up, which is why it's so difficult on us. Eddie's in here working hard. I mean, I'm also writing on a whiteboard, too. So Right. <laughs> oh, my God, Lego. I'm going to ban you for that comment. <laughs> he says it's easy. I've done it. Usually, Ronnie, uh, for a six for a six p.m. stream, I'm usually here between three and four p.m. to get ready. Now, now, shutting it down is not that bad, and closing it up is not. It's only like fifteen twenty minutes. But pre-stream, getting the profiles, getting social media, getting the cards registered, getting everybody in there, getting going all the live stream room rules. That's why on a on a 6 p.m. stream that actually starts at 5.45 p.m., I have the players here in the room by 5.15 because it takes at least 30 minutes to, like, get everybody set up, draw for seats, get their yeah, chips. A lot get them, going on. Yeah, get their – get the dealer in. Eddie's going to do hair and makeup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that don't help. That's for sure. That, that, makeup, makeup and hair don't, don't, ain't going to help me. That's why I'm in the booth. I have a voice for radio. I don't have a voice. For, for TV, so. Just Ronnie, radio? Yeah, Ronnie, do me a fair hit, exclamation points, I'll take care of you right now. I have I have the, I have the queue up. <laughs> and we are gonna get this ninth seat filled with another nice um, uh, person in the background for, um, as an alternate. 
Face whatever Lego. <laughs> Cash been raising up with nine seven of spades under gun plus two. Mr. White, Queen Ten of Clubs calling in the hijack. Mr. White flopping a gutter with the best hand. Cash been nine seven of spades. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, I can. I have to look. I can't look you up by name. I have to look you up by points. Cashman going to see about 100 and a quarter. Mr. White peeling one with the backdoor draw and the gutter ball, and actually the best hand. Wow, catch! <laughs> Mr. White turning gin. Yahtzee! What a card! Cashman just going to slow down. Sometimes when I have hands like Mr. White, I imagine hand like the card, like the Jack of Clubs on the turn, and then <laughs> boom, there it is. And Mr. White gonna fire at a 375, but Cashman just doesn't have anything to contend with. Thousand dollar pot, going to Mr. White. All right, I gave you extra points, Ronnie. Give it about five minutes and type an exclamation point. Exclamation points in about five minutes. Lego, I'm gonna ban you. Not even, I'm not gonna ban you for the face for radio comment. I'm gonna ban you because you said it's easy. Be there. But it's fun in here. I love this side of the booth. No, absolutely fun. I, I, it's some of the most fun I've had. You know what's ha actually also helped my game? Watching, like commentating mm -hmm. and uh, play, uh, commentating all these live streams and watching it from this hand. Right. Like, w w when you're when you're playing on the floor, obviously I advocate for paying attention all the time. Right? Yeah. And if you're playing on a live stream, I also advocate for paying attention. But when you're playing on the floor, or even on a live stream, you can take hands off and talk and you know go to the restroom or whatnot because you're not yeah. in the hand. But here, when we're, when we're commentating, we have to pay attention to the action. Mm -hmm. So, as weird as it sounds, you can see how players play a different against different across different stakes and against different players. Against different players, mm -hmm. there's some similar tendencies in some spots in one, two, even up to this. Uh, you're yeah. not seeing as much at this. But you'll see it at 5, 10, 25. You'll definitely see it at 5, 5, 10. But, like, it's really helped my game because I'm like, okay, this. I'm like, okay, I got three weeks ago, this guy did this on a board like this, and this guy's doing it too. Right. Kind of thing. Like, okay, this is a good board to do this on because of this. And also with commentating, you kind of talk it out. Yeah. Like, I I've gone back and I watch, I watch some streams. I commentate, on, I commentate on, and I'm like, oh, I actually don't agree with my analysis there. You know, I'm just kind of talking about it sure. in, the, in, the, in the heat of the moment. But when I go back and listen, because I go back and listen to all my streams, right? Right. Because it's like when you go back and you go back and watch all the streams you play on, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, like it's a way. It's a way to improve your game. It's a way to prove my commentating. And I'm like, uh, okay, yeah, I see what I did wrong there, and I see what he did wrong there as a player. So JD here in the hijack gonna make it buck fifty, suited Broadway cards. Carlos in the small blind, king ten off. I mean. I see him calling yeah. here. 100 and a quarter. Yeah, there we go. It's a car. It's a flop that can get him in potential trouble. I'm not with the yep. ace out there. Potential trouble for sure. Oh wow, Carl's gonna take the betting lead here. Yep, he's gonna lead right into JD with King Jack of Diamonds. Buck Don't. 50. Yeah, buck 50 for JD here with second pair backdoor diamonds. Don't see him fold. Nope. 900 in the middle. The turns and nine of diamonds picks up a good card for JD. I wonder if Carlos is going to continue to fire. Can I just check Let's here? Slow down at this point. I'm generally betting here, but th are there scenarios yet yeah, where you check back and try to realize your equity? Yeah, especially in a guy that's going to check oh, raise you. <laughs> yeah. JD, I think it's going to be check call push. here. Check bet call. Yeah, because. Carlos, I don't think Carlos is going to call a big, big bet. But if JD bets small, say a third of the pot, 
I don't think he's going to go small here. I think he's going to go bigger it's here. It's probably going to be big. Yep. Yeah. I noticed that these guys usually bet fairly big. For bluffs and for value. Right. And, it's and, both and, ends. And that's, that's, that's actually a really good point, that if you're going to over bet pot, you need to do that for value, A, and you need to do that as a, if you're going to do it with your for with a nutted hand, you need to also be able to overbet bluff. Don't do it at one two, but you know, right? Because then everybody's going to know. Okay, this guy's overbetting pot. If they see you overbetting pot for value, they're never ever going to call you after a while, right? So exactly. Get. Got 50 with one, eight, eight, nine, 11, 12. Got 14, 15 tables here, cash in the room. Busy Friday night. JD A6 of Space going to raise it to 150. Cashman. Cashman topping off, you know, he, he, he he's in for about 27K total. Paolo was really active early on. Bonner for been relatively quiet this evening. Got a new player in who's gonna be coming into three seat. How a six of spades. As we talk, yeah. Buck said he fought. he's been consistent with that sizing though. He has. In EP. J win looking to get in the mix with King Five of Hearts. I love that hand in position. Cashman nine eight off. <laughs> what do you like about King Five of Hearts? If you start, if you start, you've been studying like suited kings are are a lot stronger than perceived to be back in the day. Right. Sometimes like all, all three bit king seven suited. <laughs> Backdoor spades for Paolo and J win with bottom or second pair. Eight of clubs. Eight of clubs. Let's see if Paolo's gonna start firing now. Right. With the ace high, he checks. Jaywin with the best of it. Rivers three of spades. Asai has showdown value on this run out a lot of times. Yeah. And some people feel the need to like bet there. Right. And, and that's what and we talked about this where before I would just barrel just a barrel. Yeah. But like if you think about it, based off that run out and that action, Ace High even though he lost that specific hand, that Ace High has um has definitely a, lot, a ton of showdown value. I won't say a ton, but definitely has some showdown value on that run out. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it looks like we're getting someone in the three seat. It's going to be Assassin. And with a name like that, that's so dope. <laughs> I mean, Asian Sensation is pretty good, but Assassin's like at the poker table. People more or less laugh when they hear Asian sensation over the intercom, but when yes. you hear Assassin, you're like, that's that's pretty gangster. The Assassin is does sound really gangster. JD, seven, six of hearts, raising it up to 150. Cashman with jacks on the button, look for a razor to try and squeeze. Pocket Johnny's. Call him Johnny's. He used to um, play Baccarat. Okay. And uh, you're a Baccarat guy? Uh, Not anymore. No more table games for, for zero beta. on the table games. But I used to hang out <coughs> a lot of Vietnamese gamblers on um, blackjack oh. and Baccarat. And pew, in Baccarat, pew. I would hear one more Johnny. Yeah. And so we called Jack's Johnny's. So I'm relatively new to the gambling scene. I told you that. I'm, so one time, I'm from the Houston area. So th this is funny. Do you not? This is the story of how I knew there was card rooms in Texas. Okay. It got divorced. Day was finalized. I'm like, I'm going, I'm going to like Charles. Okay. Yeah, I know where Lake Charles is. About an hour and a half east of Houston. Yeah. Okay. 
And this was during the height of COVID still. But they were everybody was kind of the, starting to reopen up. And, you know, I call it like your poker room open. They're like, yeah, we're open from noon to 2 a.m. So I was like, okay. Before, I, I didn't know anything about Poker Atlas. Didn't know anything about rooms because gambling is illegal in Texas, quote unquote. Yeah, gambling okay. is, but yeah. poker's not. Did not yeah. <laughs> so I go there and I stay there and I play for like three days. They're like, you drove from Houston. Why don't you just go play rooms in Houston? I'm like... I, I, I don't know where to find I was like, I can't find it. I'm just new. And they're like, you should download Poker Atlas. I'm like, what the hell is Poker Atlas? <laughs> right. There's like nine rooms in Texas. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I never went back to Lake Charles because I, I, I'm, I'm not a big table guy myself. That's all that's there is, is table games? No, no. They have a poker room. They have, you know, slots. They have, you know, blackjack, baccarat. But that's, that's in Texas. No, 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 no. Lake Charles. Lake Charles. It's in Louisiana. Louisiana. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's obviously confused for a second. So, yeah. Look at, hold on. Look at this. JD flopping. Wow. The flush, but straight flush draw with Z Fish flopping top pair. Z Fish top pair. JD flopping the flush with the open ended straight flush draw. <laughs> Raising it up. Hear this. So uh, Assassin and Dong both left TCH at the same time, and they whoever got here first gets the seat. Oh. <laughs> I beat him by like 30 seconds. You beat, you beat him by 30 uh -huh. seconds? Do you ever take over the betting lead here? Oh, no, no. So I'm sorry. He checked raised. I apologize. Yeah, he checked raised. Full ring now. I wonder if he's going to check back here. It's a draw heavy board. Double check. You ever, you ever go into it for the double check raise? I've never done that. My, I've never done the double check raise myself. I did that on stream and it didn't work out because they checked back. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Hefty bet here. Bets are pot. JD just with the call. Three pairs the board though. JD has a three in his yeah. hand, so I know that he has to like that. Check. And check, check. I think JD was gonna go check call. Yeah. Obviously with a three here. I mean, it, 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 if Z Fish has kings here, kings full versus kings full, then right? Then it's kings full. And, and, and with such a a, a baby flush. You know, there are better flushes out there than yours. So you kind of like go into check call mode. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, about a little over an hour left in this stream. Again, for the 25-50, inaugural 50 big blind Annie. JD with 18-2 in his stack. Tacked on about another 3,200. Got a new player, Assassin, in the three seat. Sitting down with about 12-4. I want a cool name. Gator's pretty cool too, you know. I don't know Asian Sensation is pretty. Cool. Asian Sensation is pretty good. It's pretty awesome. Good. It's pretty good. I I thought about I thought about changing it to Rice's Life, but I was like, <laughs> that's border that's borderline offensive. <laughs> but I, mean, I guess I could theoretically get away with it. It's like people laugh. People laugh when they hear Asian Sensation. They like, who is that guy? And then they look at me. They're like, yeah, okay. And then they really laugh. Right. But I think I get more laugh. La Last, if I if I change it to Rice's life, you would probably get pretty good laughs out of that. I like the Asian sensation has a good ring to it. When you get on the stream, the Asian sensation yep. has a nice ring. Yeah, it's kind of like the Queen of Felt, the right. Asian sensation. Yeah, so I like it myself. But I was really I was this close to changing it to Rice's life, <laughs> like that close. See, I didn't choose my nickname. Somebody just gave it to me, so it's kind of stuck with it. Um, I could have been the Italian stallion, but I'm only Italian. I'm not Italian. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like Filipino, so that's like Pacific. When I took the SATs, you, I had to check the box that was Pacific. Oh, oh no, it was, it was like the other box. So I was like the, the other, other box. The other. Raise and a three bet here. I like calling with this type of hand. The nine eight of clubs. Yep. Oh, he's just gonna fold. I'm gonna take. 
Carl is taking a line I usually don't see him do, raising with 9 of clubs. Yeah. Uh, under the gun plus one. It's interesting that he, you know, he'll open with like ace king, ace queen, like you said. I have, I, I can't recall him opening with a hand like that as well. Right. I think he definitely calls that in position if, if he was, you know, if somebody opened to him and they action yeah, and then folded he just him. Falls. Yeah, I could see that. Um, so does Hayden play for a living? Yeah, he does. Both of them, both him, Kim and Hayden. Wow, very cool. Yeah, I was with him in Vegas for WSOP for two months. Really? I'll never do that again. <gasps> it's mentally exhausting. It's draining, man. Super, super. Like I, I honestly like after long enough in Las Vegas, I just don't think I can stand yeah. it for so long. Three bet coming in. Cash Slightly over 3x. One and a quarter. Mr. White free betting. 425. Ace King. The assassin with Ace Jack getting Gonna, right out the way. Yeah. And that's a, that's a you know, these are these were early position opens, early position open, middle position three bet with action behind at this level. Right. People recognize that. Yep. At one two, you're still gonna get, you're still gonna get go five six ways of the flop. That's why you know some of these one twos and two fives can be so lucrative. People's out here winning fifteen hundred, twenty five hundred in a session of one two, which is gigantic. Don't underestimate the one two stuff. I, so many people underestimate how much money can be won. Right. What's the biggest one two session you ever had? I, this happened a few months ago. Uh, I was in for 550, cash out for like 4900. That's what I'm saying. But I, but I also I've never done this. I played till eight o'clock in the morning. I just <laughs> I could not. I, there's like there's just no way I'm ever leaving that table. No. I had these, like these, you know. I think Middle Eastern guys. I'm not sure where they were. And it was really funny because. Some, as it gets late in the night, they break tables. Look at this. Right. Open ender. And a pair. And Jay win with the flush draw. Open ender gets there. It's going to slow the action down for Jay win for sure. I think Hello. it's going to be check, yes. bet, call. Yeah, I can see check, bet, call for sure. Um, 200. Yeah, that's, that's an easy call there. Dong's playing one, two. <laughs> He's, he's gonna lose. Like, they're joking that he's probably gonna lose six k at one two. Wow. <laughs> I gotta listen to this. <laughs> that man sounds like a legend. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's known on 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 this like uh, stakes to buy in for like seventy five to hundred k. Really? Even if let's say the second the, the the biggest stack before he buys in is like fifteen k twenty k, he's uh -huh. gonna buy it for seventy five to hundred k. And does he go into action with it? Yes, but he's such a creative player. It's kind of like OFC, right? Dangerous, like, dangerous, and they put you in like the blender on a consistent basis right and those players are so freaking like those players put me on tilt <laughs> not because like they play they, they they play so creative deceptive unbalanced whatever analogy you want to use right that like you're like this guy can never have seven four here if he's gonna ever continue it's got to be seven four suit and right? he shows up it, with it he shows up with seven four off so you're like how the hell do you have seven four off suit here like right. there's four combos of seven four suited that you should never be calling with anyway but they have it and you're just like okay you're on you're like it's crazy but again right. like i said super deceptive assassin here couple of jacks Carlos calling the 175. Oh my gosh! Top set. Yahtzee, and Carlos what's up? Carlos, I'm telling you, he runs into it. This is gross. He has been getting. A I hope a ten. Brick I pray to God a ten does not come out on the turn. That's gonna be really big trouble for Carlos if a ten comes off. Not Never folding. Yeah, Never folding. The check call. I think the only way that 
Carlos Voltaire is like a queen, ace, or king comes on the board. Nine of hearts. Picks up Carlos some outs. Yeah, gives him a little bit. Gives him a little gutter. Yeah. I'm sure the assassin's going to fire here. That 758, 850? I can't really tell. It looks like a thousand fifty. Yeah, thousand fifty. And theoretically, this card doesn't bring in a too bu too much. Yeah, ten eight gets there. Right. But you're not gonna have too many ten eight combos. <gasps> oh no. Just a call. Okay, I thought it looked like he was grabbing some yellows. For uh, a yeah, I was, I was thinking. Like, <gasps> no, not that. Six. And this is a blank. Five. Yeah. And Assassin's actually very capable of just three street barrel bluffing here. This is going to be a check call probably from Carlos. As fast as he called on the turn, unless he just picked up the gutter and he liked calling there. Assassin bets here, you know, 2,000 maybe. And uh, I think Carlos is going to call. That's big. Wow, he bets 3,050. Man. And I, I, here's why I like that bet. He either has something or he doesn't. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it, it's 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 like a hundred percent one way and a hundred percent the other yeah. way. It's like he's either gonna call or he's not gonna call. So I might as well just true. I might as well just bet big. Man, I tell you what, I hate to have Jack ten here. Yeah, and some and sometimes I bet like that too. I'm like, well, you know, I have a strong hand, like a bunch of stuff potentially brick out. But if he's got something weird that he's gonna call with, I might as well just bet big right. or try to extract value. I think Carlos would call more of a two thousand dollar bet. What a three thousand seventy-five dollar bet! This is a big bet. Super polar. What a fold by Carlos. Carlos playing phenomenal. I'm telling you right now, he's down twenty-five hundred. Look at cumulative winnings really quick. His cumulative loss is not indicative of how he's. He's played some really great, phenomenal folds tonight. He's down twenty-five hundred. Yeah. That's only fifty blinds in this game. Yeah. That's nothing. But all, with, with some of these runouts and the hands he has had, he could easily be felted. Yeah, Multiple absolutely. Times. He's really holding his own um, for as bad as he's been running right. on the stream today. Carlos just playing above the rim. Yeah, you know he's he really he really gets in there. He is not scared to play with any of these guys. He hasn't been playing that long, and I got to give him a lot of respect. So is there, uh, is there anything that you're seeing from the commentary side on this specific stream that you could take and implement here? Don't tell me the, what it is, for the record. Just like, <laughs> you know, the one, because you know, everybody, all viewers take something different from each stream. You right? know, that, yeah, that's interesting. Um, you know, when I was a dealer, I got asked that question because I was a poker dealer back in 2000 and. And at a casino. Okay. And I, what casino again? You mentioned this yesterday. A place called Hollywood Casino in Charlestown, West Virginia. Um, Interesting. Right when it opened up for table games. And people would say, well, do you extract anything from watching players? And to be honest, no, when I was a dealer, because well, I'm paying attention to eight people. Right. So it was hard to really do anything. So when it comes to the stream, I'm... I'm more engaging in how someone's playing the hand, and I'm watching all the action at the same time as well. And I, I think that I'm putting more attention towards narrating and commentating. So what I'm really getting out of it is more of the entertainment right. value. Uh, being here in the booth is so much more fun than actually, like, watching a table. Right. You know. Seeing this real time is really interesting to me. And it's really, I, I told you guys, it's helped my game tremendously. Who wins this hand? Chop pot between Assassin and Carlos. And, and I, 
I definitely am a student of the game forever. Doesn't right. matter what stake or whatever I'm playing. I like to be a student of the game. I agree. So, um, I, you know, some of these guys, some of them play really well, and, and I'd love to sit here and learn some of the stuff that yeah. they do. It's kind of like, it's not. It, I'm not actually playing the game, but I'm here in real time yeah. while this game's going on and getting to hear your thought process, my thought process out loud. Yeah. And it's nice because, like, um, a lot of stuff we agree on, and, like, I, I'll analyze it from from one perspective. You're like, oh, and then you analyze it. I'm like, oh. Yeah, right. It's, it's ah, very interesting. It, you know. it's, it's a lot of fun to sit here and do this. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Dude, every Friday, you know, I kind of hope you don't get your bankroll up to where you can play the five <laughs> <laughs> so I can have you in the booth. Man, I love being in the booth, it's man. It's a pleasure. I don't know, is your wife, I don't know if your wife's listening or not. I'm going to send her a text. Dude. She might have, she might have fell asleep. Do you call her Ellie or do you call her Eliandra? Uh, I call her um, Eliandra. Okay. Uh -huh. Doing a great job. JD here plus two. Ace, King, Offsuit going to open. I want buck 50. Assassin here. I just like his name. Great name. Yeah. Uh, Jay win with the king queen. Could come in here for the f three bet. We're just gonna call here. <laughs> I love commentating. I, it, it, this has been a blast the past two days. When you texted me that, I was like, man. <laughs> I was like, who could I potentially? Yeah, I was like, who could I potentially get? And I was like, no, these guys are not gonna. You know, these guys. As I, I'll give you my thought process on commentators, right? GP like he turning the ace. Yeah. Like I'll go through some names, right? And I listen to oh. table talk too when I get on when I, when I'm commentating. Right. So I'm like, okay, this this would be interesting. Like this person would be interesting. Like there's just no way I'm ever gonna have this guy because either a he's gonna say something that shouldn't be said on the air, or b he's just gonna be a total dud. Really? Yeah. So like, I mean, no one, no player here tonight. Well, you know, I don't know some. Some of these players are new, right? Sure. But um. I, it's kind of mean to say that, but <laughs> Eliandra's in the chat. She said, "She, Eliandra, thank you for lending me your significant other. He's doing great again." I, I was I was texting him like throughout the evening yesterday af after the stream. I w literally last night I was getting texts from a lot of uh, players that listen to the stream, and like I have some multiple group text messages. And they're like, "Gator's great, Gator's great." I, was oh, like, I, I know. I was like, it so like "Let's get him back in." I love being here. I, I appreciate all the viewers and everyone that said the kind words. Eddie, you know, I gotta, we got to go have a steak dinner, man. I'm down. I'm so down when, for steak. When you're not busy, let's have a steak dinner. I'm, I'm down. You know? Eliandra doesn't play, right? No, she okay. doesn't. And she is, that woman there is my backbone of the game, man. She is the biggest supporter I've had. And it, it's incredible to have that significant other. And you know what? That's really tough in this, in, in this industry, sport, whatever you want. Right. Because the swings can be super crazy. Brutal. And I'm going to tell you a story after this okay. hand. Uh, so Paolo's got two oh. eights, raised to 175. He actually has a, a decent lockdown on this he hand. He does. Everybody's got high cards. Yeah, this, this is such a good board. board. This is such a good board for right. eights. Everybody. And he's got a bet here. There's 1225 in the skillet. Yeah, and he's going to lead. He's going to lead this flop. I like it. I've talked about this. I, I haven't studied this spot in cash. 400. But I've studied this spot in tournaments in terms of, like, small blind versus blind, big blind or right. uh, big blind defending range. Uh-huh. Right? So I've studied these spots before, and this is a phenomenal board for him to lead on. Absolutely. Great board. All right. Tell me the story. So for all the gamblers out there gotcha. that talk about poker wives, right? How did I know that I was going to marry my wife? Okay. When we first got together, I was gambling. I was on a bad streak on the week. I was playing 2-5. I think I lost around 3700 on the week. Okay. Which the max buy-in was $1,000 where I was playing. So but That doesn't sound too bad. No, it was a 2-5. Yeah. So I was playing all week. And she goes, I said to my wife, I said, I'm you weren't married at the time. No, okay. and this is like when we're dating, gotcha. right in the beginning. From, and I from said, Tinder. Sorry, Ellie. Yeah. Ellie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, the, I had to throw that the in there. The relationship's go, go, go. super new. Yeah. And she goes, I said, man, she says, how are you doing? I said, I'm down about 3700 on the week. And she looks at me and she goes, well, that's your job. And it, when she said that, I said, that's, that's the woman golden. I'm going to marry. Good golden. I said, what an answer. She didn't get upset. She didn't get mad. She didn't say, hey, you know what? 
she said, that's your job. You can win it back. So my girlfriend's that actually, was a the, big the, deal. the voice that's calling out the names, that's my girlfriend. Really? Yeah. This is how I know she, it, she's a good one. I, I was like talking poker where there was some strategy and blah, 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 blah. And like I ran bad and like I didn't play some hands good. She's like, you know what her response was? What's that? Play better. Amazing yeah, response. I love great, it. That's response. awesome. Play better. And I was like, <gasps> I like it because, <laughs> like you know, even non-poker players would be like they don't understand like some of the jargon. The no, and my yeah. wife doesn't play. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, "Why would you do that?" I'm like, "Well, because of blah blah." She's like, "Why don't you just play better?" I'm like, "Damn, that's cold blooded, man!" But, but so you're so right. <laughs> you're so right. I was like, <laughs> "Got him." Z fish ace nine of diamonds gonna raise it up to one fifty under the gun plus two. Jalen here with four is gonna make the call. Yes, sir. Cashman Fulton Jack nine. Mr. White, deuce three. The dirty diaper. <laughs> yep. JD King, ten of spades. I'm sure he's going to get in the mix for the extra hundred. I wonder if he's going to come in for. Okay, just going to okay. make the call. Yep. I could see. I could see him three betting there, on occasion. I didn't see you over there. I knew where you were. Oh, uh, did he big just, flop for JD? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a good flop for JD. I think so. Seven of diamonds. Okay. I wonder if he's going to barrel here. See fish with open-ended straight flush draw. Right. Oh, open-ended royal flush draw, excuse me. Absolutely. Open-ended straight flush slash royal draw. Massive flop for yeah. JD. You don't get to say that very often, so. No, you don't. And yeah, with fours, you're just never, ever going to continue on four cards over to, <laughs> right. to your hand in that spot. My wife was actually the person that told me I should get on to the live stream. Oh, she, she, she had she, told me a long time ago, hey, you know, you should get on the live stream once. To, to commentate? Just to play. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and a lot of people asked me to go play on the live stream. I was really against it, to be honest. Yeah. Because uh, I didn't like exposing how I played. And that's, I, I've, I've had some players tell me that. Uh, they're like, I, I don't want people to see how I play. Fair enough. But you know what? I'll tell you what now. I love it. Yeah, it's fun. It's awesome fun. It's a different world. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. And yeah, you you definitely expose your play a little bit, but if you you know, a lot of people are not going to take you lightly because they know you're good, you know. Right. And it's really funny because um, before we really started growing, when I was commentating the one two shoot these small these small tournament. Cashman was aces. Yeah, three bet. I want to see if Zfish wants to get some action. You know he. He might want to mix it up a little yeah. bit. I think he may call here with like six five suited, but six with a suited gapper here. Maybe, maybe not. Well, he's in the tank about it. He's thinking maybe I can get a good flop yeah, here. Yeah, let's see. Let's let's see what uh, we got. Did he he raised it. <gasps> he raised it to fifteen hundred. Gangster move right oh there. Oh my! And he's in a world of trouble. Is Cashman going to raise or flat? Cashman's got to be loving this with two aces. So here's the thing. They're deep. They are. Man. I don't I, I don't hate either option. Now imagine if Cashman raises here. That was a snap fold. And Zfish just says, you know what? I'm just going to go nuts here. Now, and here's the thing. Is Cashman the type of player to five bit bluff? Yeah, is he? We don't know. And I don't know the answer to that question. I I, I, I've seen him play lots of streams between here and TCH, and I'm like, I don't know. Let me phrase that. Is he good enough to 5-bit bluff? Yes. How often do, do people 5-bit bluff? Not very often. Not very often. Yeah, he does come in with a 5-bet here. He does for 3500 And then Zfish has got to put in, what, 2000 more? Yeah, and I don't think he calls here. I just don't think. I, he, he might go into the tank here and just pretend he has a big yeah. hand. Hollywood a little bit here. But if he calls and gets a big flop. See some fireworks. You would. Let's see what happens here. He might put the extra 2,000 in there. And yeah. he does fold. 5-7 of clubs on the flop would have been so gross. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like 5-3 like <laughs> clubs. 5-3 clubs. You imagine? Five, three clubs. You oh imagine? My gosh, that would have been disgusting. Um, you know, actually, my wife is the one that said also that I should make more of a social media for poker and stuff. And this is all stuff that I really didn't do, and I yeah. just started doing it. 
that stuff is like really time consuming. It is. It's extreme. Yeah. And my wife like does some of the posts for me that I started doing. Okay, it. that's cool. And because it's, I'm not very good at doing it. Oh just no, to dude. be honest, I don't. Even no, know. no, 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 no. I feel that. <clears throat> and so I've been having fun with it. And you know, at first I was like, you know, I'm against like exposure, but now I, I like the stream. It's opened a new world for me. And right. I, I love playing on the stream and the people that I've met. It's just been an, it's been one of the best times I've had in poker. Well, and I'm glad you've entrenched yourself in the deal. It's a it's a it's a phenomenal community. It I, is. And I don't know if I should be saying this or not. But relative to a lot of other places that I've played or live, it's my favorite. Just because of the. Uh, just because of the people and just how homey everyone makes. I, mean, I love the homey yeah. part. That's my favorite. You're going to get the occasional, you're going to get an asshole everywhere you play, right? Yeah, it's that's gonna happen. just a given. But just in general, like just the, the atmosphere in the DFW, the poker atmosphere in the DFW is just phenomenal. It is. And, you know, I've played poker all my life and, and I've been in, you know, a fair amount of casinos. And I tell you what, the hospitality you get here in Dallas and Poker House is second to me. Right. Well, I appreciate that. We try to do good, a good job of making everybody, the players, feel welcome. Absolutely. Three ways to this flop and three ways to this turn with the jack of spades now. Moneymaker with the best of it. King nine of diamonds. Assassin with two sevens. JD in the mix. Ace nine offsuit. I don't think, I wonder if he's going to barrel here. Check, with, with check. Two, with two callers, with just ace high, you got to know you're not good here. Yeah, so right. he's going to check back. And he's going to wave the white flag unless a chase comes off back. Off on the river. Small bet. 300 from Moneymaker. Under a quarter pot. Right. Now, with two jacks coming on turn and river, there's not going to be too many Jack X, com Jack, Jack X combos that are going to continue on the flop. Right. Right. So, you know, like Ace, Jack of Clubs. Moneymaker looking to get called by like yeah. a six, a hero six. Maybe the sevens that was there. Yeah. Um, And this is my first time seeing Assassin play, so I've heard about him. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Did you hear what Assassin said? What did he say? He said, be careful, I'm going to send you back to Germany. <laughs> to the moneymaker. That's great. And you need oh, a player. Man. You need a player like him at the table, right? Absolutely. I love a player that likes to, to talk the talk. You know, it makes it fun. So much fun to play with someone like that. So Cashman, I think I'd gone out there because there was a player that was potentially going to play the stream, but he had to leave, but wanted to get my contact information because they told him, you know, I kind of help manage the lineups. Right. And you know, I talked to that player. They were like, "Well, I have to leave tonight. I'll get you credit contact info. Cool. No big deal." And then Cashman's like, hey, the seat's still open, right? I'm like, yeah, if you can find somebody, because, you know, I had somebody back out last minute this morning. Uh -huh. He's like, I can get somebody. I was like, who is it? He's like, his name is Assassin. I'm like, bring him. <laughs> so right. just get him. It's good. Hell of a name. Sea fish, three betting, 650, king, queen of spades, Mr. White. Going to make the call. And what did, they didn't Paulo have king, queen offsuit? I think he did. Yeah. Mr. White flopping the best of it. He had the best of it pre-flop in position. Let's see what Mr. White's going to do here. Now, in this spot, after a three bet and a non C bet, do you try to bet to protect your ranger with the nines? I like his bet. Backdoor um, diamonds. So, you know, Z Fish has got other plans. Yeah, a jack on the turn is a very good card. Six diamonds, that gives some additional outs to Mr. White. Yeah, Mr. White's hand just became a lot bigger. In some spots, Z Fish is not going to have a lot of 10x unless he has like jack 10 suited. Right. Right, as a three bet. And a nine on the river for Mr. White seals the deal. Z Fish. 
What if he's gonna do something crazy like bet big, like over bet pot? Yeah, he might get a little crafty here, and yeah. he's going for it. He's got a lot of heart on the river. 25. 2,500 putting Mr. White in a spot he don't want to be in. But come back and raise here. He has a full house, you know, yeah. and and I mean, the only thing that's going to call you is going to is a ten. Right. I don't think he's going to raise. Um, I don't think he is either. I think he just has a call in him. Uh, probably going through and piecing the hand together. Yeah, I agree. The way that this played out. Yeah, going to make the call. After a bit, going to show the rivered boat. Nine's full of tens. Z Fisher. Maybe Z Fish trying to get ace high off. Yeah. Of a, of a ten, you know, like thinking they may, you know, like. Obviously, he rivered, yeah, they, but maybe trying to get him off an ace. Have you ever heard of something called the Zebo effect? No. What is that? So, so the Zebo effect is. Um, it's an actual term that they use for that people don't fold full houses. Right. Okay. That's fair. Which. They do in like higher stakes, but they don't in like never low stakes. They're never so cold. the Zebo effect is more for the low stakes stuff. I remember one hand specifically. I was on the button where I defended the straddle, and I literally turned like top boat. Hey, Captain Under Pairs with the twenty dollars yeah, cup Great commentary. Thank you. Yeah, sir. he's a he, he's a local legend in, in the live stream chats. He he's a truck driver that drives. Monday or Tuesday through like Friday, right? And then he'll just come here and play like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or Sunday, Monday, depending on what the schedule's well, like. Guys so. like Kim's what makes the world go round. I mean, it's guys like Cup that help the live stream grow. Absolutely, They're been with us from the beginning. Open from Cashman plus one three bet by Paolo Ace King, the low jack three bet four and a quarter. Cashman Ace Jack suited. I can't see him wanting to fold. Yeah, I can't see him folding this spot. Right. Too strong of a hand that has a lot of equity post flop, at least to see the flop. Yeah, and Powell's been playing pretty snug uh, past the uh, end of the stream. Yeah. Er earlier on, he was pretty aggressive. Early on, of... he was aggressive. Now he's kind of slowed down. And that is a function of, like, card distribution, card distribution table dynamics. Yeah. Four hearts doesn't change much. Paolo thinks he has the best hand here on the flop, but he has the best hand probably probably on the turn. Now he's unblocking hearts. See if Cashman's going to try and take a stab. We're going to bet 500 to 1400 about. Snap fold. dollars and a fold gets the best hand to fold. Yeah, the board texture out there. Yeah, red cards, he had black cards. Not a really good flop turn for him. Cashman could have had a pair of like nines. I don't remember what the flop was. I know it's 10 high, but I don't remember the other cards. I know it's three hearts, 10 high board. Right. King Jack in the small blind, raising it to 150. Jay win in the big blind, not going to protect with the queen three. King nine of diamonds, UTG plus two, gonna make it 150. Assassin, queen three, fold. Z fish in the mix, seven six offsuit. Carlos, two sixes on the button for 150. 
Going to make the call. Jaywin, suited ace. He's going to make the call. Cashman, queen five of diamonds. He says, you know what? I'll throw in an extra hundred. We have a five-way flop. Texas heads up is what we call it here. Let's see what happens. Ace, jack, seven. So we have Jaywin with top and bottom pair and Zfish with just bottom pair. Checks around to Carlos with two sixes. And he checks turn three of clubs. Jaywin checking again. Cashman checking. JD with just king high. Zfish, bottom pair. He's going to take a stab. 400. 475. Carlos out the way. Jaywin. Let's see what Jaywin's going to do here. Deep into the tank with top and bottom. Looks like a call of 475. Heads up to the river. Zfish drawing dead. Ten of diamonds on the river. Irrelevant card. Check, check. Jay win top and bottom. All right. Jay win here trying to make a little money on the comeback trail for this last few minutes of this live stream. I need to ask Eric a question before I announce it. <laughs> I want to make sure I get a thumbs up. I have prematurely announced stuff on accident because I was told not I wasn't told not to announce it. Right. So I'm one of those people who feel like if you say don't if you say don't say anything, I'll never say anything. But if you say if you don't not tell me to say something, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> assume that it's like fair game. Right. Let's see Paolo under the gun, five four offsuit. J D Moneymaker. Assassin Jack Deuce off. Seafish. Carlos, Queen 3. Jay win with the 10 7. The Daniel Negrano hand, 10 7 suit. Yep. Raising 150 from the button. Cashman in the small blind can come in here. King Queen offsuit, yeah. and he's going to bump it up to 700. And Jay Wynch has been getting like 3 bet, 4 bet relentless. He's, he really know. has. And, and that's tough because when you're not getting a ton of cards and your V pips like relatively low. Or no, not yet. Okay, thanks. I just want to make sure. Uh, no, I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that I won't say. Okay. Okay. So I, I I was informed that I could do this. So we just found out today we're gonna be making some some again some improvements to um, the live stream. Oh. We're actually gonna be moving the so we're gonna keep production in here. Yeah. He's like him or whoever is gonna be in here running this uh -huh. stuff. They're gonna move. A, they're gonna kind of build out a new commentary booth. Wow! Like just like a dedicated, really de nice. dedicated area. So That's really in the cool. room. So I'm not sure what the time frame is. That from what I've been told, they're gonna move something and then they're gonna build out a spot right. for us. Because very cool. In reality, like we don't need all this all stuff. stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, this stuff like we would need, but like not all this stuff. So right. And then the person, uh, what he's doing, can be here and do that then? Yeah, so like what I was talking about, um, on Katie's game we recorded and we've recorded a few um, heads up matches. Right. Instead of like live streaming them, we did it from in here and like from a production site. It's just easy because you can, you can, you can do, actually do the action here, right? And then right. you can actually see the action here. But again, because it's not, it's still on a delay. He can still never see the whole cards, right? So like yeah. the security, like the security and integrity is still like solid there. So Carlos looks like he raised it to 150, gets three bet by Mr. White from the small blinds. Not Carlos, a believer. Carlos calling in the hijack two threes. Let's see if he flops a three. This is not a bad flop, but it's for bad three. news for him yeah. because Mr. White's got king jack. No, can easily easily have a hand like ace king. Yeah, over pair. I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be a bet call for at least one street. Absolutely. Yeah, as Jack needs some protection here in this spot. 700, and yeah. Carlos just gives up. I think he was just looking for a three, yeah. or he was just giving up in that hand. 
So can Eric um, Eric play here as well since he's the manager of the room? How does that work? Yeah, he can pl and play. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, anybody can play. Though. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you won't that's see. That's awesome. He's a live stream manager. He's also the tournament director. Okay. So he comes up with all the structures. He comes up with. Um, so he's the live stream manager. He's not the manager of the room. He's just correct. Live correct. He's manager. a live stream manager, but he's also the tournament director. Okay. So w whenever we make changes to tournaments or we run tournaments, like the structure sheet, it's like. You know, he puts together the structure of the tournament in terms of, like, what's the buy-in, what's the, you know. Right. How much you're going to start with, how long are the levels. Yeah. Uh, Co-general manager are Matt and Danielle. Uh-huh. And I believe one of them's here. Okay. Ace-king for Carlos, picking up a hand, raising the 150. Jay win, ace-4 folding. Nobody's getting a hand to put it in with Carlos. JD, two threes, okay. Extra hundred? Yeah. Why not? I always love when someone, like, they look at the cards and, like, I'll give you action. I'm right. like, what do you mean by that? What does that mean? <laughs> Eight, jack, deuce, two spades. <laughs> Carlos with ace, king, gets jack, two. Is Carlos going to see bet here? Looks like he is. Is Carlos playing tomorrow? Carlos is playing tomorrow. Oh, man. He, you know, he's a real gentleman at the table as well. Dude, like, if I'm running as bad as he as he is, I'm definitely taking time off. Yeah, he he he's a player, man. Yeah, he, but he like just continues. the fact that you're just like still pew pewing and like yeah. your confidence isn't shaking, that's like that's yeah. solid. Yeah, and great composure. Absolute gentleman. Even losing doesn't you know doesn't bother him. Just great composure. And I think definitely JD is going to be giving up now on this so turn card. Five and a quarter. Doesn't like that turn card. Yeah. He wasn't lying. <laughs> he doesn't have a pair of threes. That's true. Unlike OFC, who's, I don't know if he's in the room or not. We, we were joking uh, a couple of streams ago. I forgot who he told. He's like, hey, I think it was Safine last Friday. He said, no more than three OFC said no more than three bluffs for the stream. And I'm like, well, that means you can't lie more than three times per stream. He's like, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> OFC and Habib in the same game with their, the, the commentary between those two is so funny. Dude, the lineup tomorrow is like super action. I'm excited for the lineup tomorrow. Super action. I'm ready to get in the mix tomorrow. Carlos, 7-5 a spade. Carlos coming in for a raise. 7-5 a spade. We talked about he opened 8-9 of clubs earlier. Yeah. And every time he just opens, he's going to get 3-bet. Mr. White with 2 jacks. 3-bet in the 500. Pretty standard sizing. Money maker, 2 snowmen. He's not going anywhere. And Carlos says, uh, he's you know getting, what? He's getting, I think he's priced in at that Let's point. Let's get in the mix and try to flop a big one. Yeah, all these players will probably have over cards. King seven, deuce. Carlos with a pair of sevens. Moneymaker with eights. And Mr. White still with the best of it. Let's see if he's going to bet here. Right. Try to represent. Yeah, he's going to check and back. He checks back. Let's see the turn. Eight of five. Nine right. Of spades. How about a five on a turn? Nine of spades. Not really picking up anything for anyone here. Mr. White still with the best of it. Money maker checking. I assume Carlos is probably going to check. Mr. White, is he going to barrel at this point? Oh, he's going to check back. back. Nine of hearts. He probably thinks he's in a good spot here. Unless he's worried about like a super weak king, like king 10 offsuit. Right. Obviously, king jack's going to be tougher king there. King eight suited. Yeah, maybe king queen offsuit because... You know, Carlos could Carlos could raise call with King Queen, mm -hmm. right? Mr. White, check, check. And is he go for a bet here? May try to eke out a little bit maybe, of value. Maybe, maybe eke out a small one. Yeah, maybe get money maker Looking to call a little here. Bit bigger than small. 800, 900? 900. I was thinking maybe he could. He should have bet around 500. Yeah. Moneymaker may call may call him right here, thinking that he's maybe trying to barrel like ace queen. Right. Moneymaker seems a little yeah. curious. 
Carlos now gonna have to fold. He's gonna know the seven's not good in this spot. Yeah, Carlos has to know that that's not good. I don't think it, it says the software says he's folded. Okay, I think yeah. he finally folded. And and Mr. White didn't look like he loved getting called there. I think, but not by moneymaker at least. Yeah. A lot of action tonight. Let's take a look at these VP percentages. We haven't looked at. Now, we've gotten over 100 hands. Some of that is a function of us playing eight handed. Right. Well, a lot of it. But also a lot of like three betting, four betting, right? Whereas like some of the other streams you've played on, or a PLO stream, uh huh. You're going three, four, five ways to the flop. Yeah. So you got multiple. Like a ton of action here. A lot of action. Surprisingly, Carlos with the highest V pip here, 33%. Assassin just, you know, I kind of disregard Assassin just because he's relative, he's new to the table. Right. But a, a lot of these players in like the 20 in the 20% range for V pip. Jade win with King Jack of clubs picking up a hand, making 150 cashman, two tens. I'm gonna call the 150. Let's see here, JD, ace queen for JD. We have a couple hands brewing now. JD with the three bet to six, 600. J win back to him, and every time he has raised, he has gotten three bet a lot. Right. And he's coming back and defending that open with King Jack of Clubs. Cashman, I assume, is going nowhere with two tens. He's probably going to make the call of 600. Yep. Let's get to the flop. Six, four, four. Good board for tens. Right. JD, good board to see bet. Let's see if he does follow through with it. I assume he does. 800, 700, 600, close. Six, yeah, but quarter pot. Okay, yeah, I did, I did the math wrong. So, so yeah, it was about 2,400. You go 600 quarter pot. Okay. Cashman, I think, is going to check call here a lot of times. Let's see what happens. I, in this spot, I don't think you can ever fold and overpair to the board. Yeah, and there's the call of six to the turn. That Jack won over to his tens. And you would either have to put JD on an over pair or hand like ace jack suited. So yeah. with you know, obviously with the one, you know, there's only three combos of ace jack suited. Let's see what he does here. Does he put I, in the second bullet? He may put in the second bullet here. Two thousand, eighteen hundred. Mm -hmm. I could see that. Thirty-five, twenty-five in the skillet. And here it comes. Big bet. 2,300. 2,300. Two-thirds pot. And we are playing some poker now. He's definitely representing over pairs. Yes, absolutely. Uh, very thin hand here. Thin range of hands. Queens, kings, aces. Was Cash Cashman was the original raiser. Yeah, he was. Um, no. No, uh, Carlos raised. Cashman called. J was J win, I think. Yeah, or J win raised. Yeah. JD was the three bet. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Nine of the spades. So I feel if Cashman's going to call here on the turn, and if JD bets here, I think Cashman's going to call the river. It depends what size JD goes I mean, with here. If JD's going to have to bet like 10,000 here to probably try to move Cashman off the hand or even all in. He could over bet bluff the pot for almost double the size, a little bit under. Let's see what sizing JD goes for, because I think he's got another barrel in him. Yeah. And he is looking at his chips, and he said, you know what, I'm fighting for this pot. There's 81.25 in the middle. Oh, he just he checked. gives up. Yeah. Would have been really interesting to see if he barreled that there. Yeah. I think you're right. I think he's on that river. I think that you're going to have to just bet super, super big. Yeah, at least pot, if not over pot. Yeah, right. I mean, it had to be a $10,000 bet to really get him to get off of it there. Yeah. 
Jay win plus one, undergun plus one, ace three, gonna give it to the muck. Let's see here. Cashman, looks like he raised 125. Pocket eights, that's a good hand. Paolo looks like a three bet, 425 with King Jack of Spades. Z Fish, nine four, we're gonna go heads up to a flop. I assume Cashman's not gonna fold. Calls the 300. And I like these players, like, Again, I'm not doing this at one two where I'm good where you're not deep, but like three right. betting or raising these suited Broadway cards. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> it it plays so much better when you have really deep stacks. I think Cashman's just gonna fold here. Two overs, yeah. Yeah. I think if there's one over, like one ace or one king, he may peel one, but not with two. No, not with two. 57 viewers in the chat. Yeah. yeah, I think, like I said, I'll talk to Eric after this week. May move PLO to the, this night because it's like, and then move this game to Thursday. Move this to Thursday. Or, or swapping Thursday and Saturday, you know, maybe moving 5 5 10 to Thursday. What is good for you? Like, it doesn't um, matter? No, it doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, I mean,. And I think that's a cool thing about being a poker player, right? You're not, like, on a set schedule. Yeah, I'm not. And that's probably a bad thing because I think you need structure. But right. uh, I don't really have a set schedule. I mean, unless, like, I plan something out with my wife right, and, right, and son right. ahead of time, there's just, you know, there's no way I would end up canceling something unless something like that occurred. Or, yeah. You know. Assassin here. Look at these hands. Right. All playable hands here. Definitely seeing a three bet here. So yeah. Size is going to go with Assassin 800. The best of it for sure. See, 700, 700, 900. Yeah, I think we're going to go around the 800 range. And yeah. there it is. Good good sizing. Good call by yeah. you. 800 three bet. Queen Jack. You think Paolo's going to defend? No. Yeah, he gives it up. Moneymaker's going to give it up too. No. He, I've heard he's an aggressive player. But and this is the thing. Like... When there's a bunch of players in the pot and somebody three bets, even if they're aggressive player, like you still have to give somewhat a little bit of respect to that. They gotta give credit yeah. eventually. Now, if it's like heads up or like three players, but if it's like four, but you know, yes, Texas is a lot of action, but you still have to like sit back and think about, okay, like what's this, what's this three betting? Uh, well, you're allowed to have a hand, yeah. you know, so it's not like uh, everybody just doesn't have a hand every time. Yeah. Um, so that that heads up tournament's over. No, they have slots for tomorrow. Talk to Eric. Tomorrow. I'm yeah. Busy tomorrow. Yeah. Wait, what's today? Saturday. Shoot. Today's Friday. They're, they have. We Tomorrow's have the live stream. Yeah. Today. We have. We have slots for tomorrow and Sunday. I thought. To, I don't know why I thought today was Saturday. Right. I was thinking the same. Yeah, I was thing. like, wait a minute. Today's Friday. Sunday. I'm busy too. I have a a, a game. I'm going to attend at 12 o'clock. Poker game or just like a poker like, game? Nice yeah. I play video games too, but usually from home. Who do you play? <laughs> I play all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, so, some of the basic stuff, Call of Duty with my friends. Gotcha. Uh, I like a lot of single player stuff. I'm kind of a nerd. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Maybe, I don't know. You play anything at all? I used to play COD back in the day. Yeah. Uh, on Xbox in college. I played like FIFA and like FIFA. Tiger back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the yeah. old days. Now I'll go to like. Have you heard of a place called like Cidercade here? No. Or like no. this is free play. I'll tell you about that. Yeah, let me know. Jack ten of hearts. Check check. Mr. White four five of hearts. Cashman. Check. What if he's gonna start bluffing here? Right. I mean the ace is a good bluff card for him. And Mr. And White did pre bet pre flop. But yeah, there it is, 600. Yeah, about 40% pot. I don't think Cashman can fold just yet. Now, unless like a spade or a jack or a 10 comes out on the turn. 
Let's save Cashman calls here. Okay, he's just gonna fold. And he gives up. Yeah. And he has a lot of the, the ace kings, ace queens, those types of hands. Right. So there's a place called Cider K and a place called Free Play. Like old school arcade games. Yeah, yeah, it's that's like, cool. It's like, it's like ten bucks a day. Uh huh. And you just like unlimited like NBA, NBA Jam, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter. Like, I like all, it. All those. Yeah, I knew I knew Lego was gonna come. I knew he's gonna. I, <laughs> we still need to have our Street Fighter challenge. I'm down for Tuesday for a street. Tuesday's my day off. I'm down for the Street Fighter challenge. I tried to go play it, but that was my game back in the day. Which Street Fighter is it? I just like the regular Street Fighter. You know, okay. like. Not like the mixed games where like they have like yeah. they crossover and stuff. Right, the old school one. Yeah, I was a Turbo big Mortal Edition. Kombat fan. I love Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat's awesome. Money maker, two tens. Gonna make it 150. Assassin, King Jack offsuit. So this thing that functions a lot better sometimes is a three bet. Yeah. If you're gonna play it. If you're gonna play it. Z fish. I mean, it is a middle position open. J win, ace five off to Cashman nine. Yeah, J win just not cashing, and it's so tough. Like it's super, it's super tough when like the game's good and you're just not getting a ton of cards. Yeah, you got to make a hand eventually. Two tens, king jack, assassin flop in middle pair, making the best of it. Oh, okay. Moneymaker with the open ender and assassin. Top and middle. King Jack. I think he's definitely has to start building a pot here. 400, 450? Absolutely. Time to build a pot. Small bet. 250. I think you have to call here now that you're open ended. Yeah, I don't see Moneymaker ever folding in that spot. Yeah, giving up. If he had like nines there, there, he's folding. Well, with tens, you know, you have some decent equity. Bricks on the river. The old brick six. Check bet fold. Definitely going to be a bet from Assassin. 450? Did he call? Moneymaker made the call. Maybe he thought he was buffing with Ace High. Maybe he did. That was a little bit of an ambitious call, yeah. I think, by Moneymaker. Three overs. That was a snap call, too. That was. And I think sometimes those calls can be a function of the player. Yeah, I agree. You know, I was going to say something earlier. You're talking about playing poker and playing your best poker and stuff. But what do you think about if you're playing a little bit below your best poker because you like staying in the game, you like being invited to the game, you like being fun. So instead of being, you know, making your win rate 100%, what about making it 80%? You know, so if your win rates, I don't know, let's just throw out a number. I'm going to make an easy number. It's $100 an hour. Okay. But if you play fun, you get in there, get in the mix more, you're making $80 an hour. But you get invited to the game all the time. So you play the game forever versus being the guy that just never talks and wins the maximum every time. That's a damn good Doesn't question. Doesn't get to play forever. Think that's about a, that. That's a damn good question because I don't know. Like, half of me is leading towards, like, I'll go to 80%, like, or, right, you know, instead of, a, like, $80, I mean, instead of $100, so I get continue invited back. Right. Because I kind of talked to you yesterday about, like, I'm, I hate saying criteria for playing the stream here, right? Yeah. But, like, if you have a good attitude, you tip well and blah, 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 social media, and you're willing to, like, you know, play whenever, right? Right. And it's your first shoot, and you're just card dead? Like, I can't hold that against you. No, cause you that's can't. Because like, 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 the sample size is too small, right? Good turn card here for Z-Fish. With the ace-king. Yeah, also with the king of hearts. And uh, Mr. White check called with the queen nine on the flop. Yeah, snap pole there. Um, that's a good question. I'm imagining that I would... I'm imagining that I would probably be okay with making the 80 bucks an hour over so many hours versus a hundred dollars one time or maybe two times for less time right yeah for less time and that's kind of the way i like to play the game if i go to a home game or something i don't want to maximize winning all the money i want to maximize the longevity yeah because i'd much rather have a good time winning right. just throwing a number out there winning 80 an hour than i would have a terrible time winning 100 an hour right and just not getting invited back and being known as the robot 100 percent. i that's why i really enjoy poker um i like to mix it up and there's times where 
you know, I'm in there just having fun. I'm right? mixing Agreed. up a little bit on purpose. Not, I've, I've done that before. You I, know what I mean? Jay went here with 10s. Finally, a good hand. Raising it. Z Fish raising 150. Jay wins three bets, 700. Big three bet sizing today. I have seen a lot of big three bet sizing. Now, here's the thing. Jay Wynn hasn't been doing a ton of, ton of raising three betting. No. He has one of the lower, oh, he's 13% PFR. Relative, relative average aggression frequency. Good flop for him. I think he should check flop here. Wow, he flops top set. It's a very dry board. Absolutely. And just hope that that ace turns off. Super small bet. I like it. 400. And he is going to float. Yeah. An ace would be a disaster for Z Fish. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm just go. talking about Let's go, it. Gator. Whoa. <laughs> Ge gears clairvoyant. Gears oh clairvoyant. <laughs> How did that happen? So now Z I think he's going to size up. It's going to check it over. And do you think that Zephus is checking the check raise or is he going in the check call mode? He can go big here. 2K. 2,800 on the skillet. And he's going to bet what? 1,200? Okay, 1,200. Wow. And Maybe Zephus, hoping to get raised. Yeah. He's, he, his effective stack size is short. Yeah. And so it's not going SPR, to he could go. Yeah. It's setting up a pot size jam. Absolutely. I mean a river river jam. River, river jam the, for sure. And dude, if like if you have if you have king queen here or you have a you have pocket jacks here, then like whatever. Just I'm ready to yeah. go home. And I, and I think Jay Wynn's gonna go all in. Yeah. He is. And Z Fish is gonna call. I don't think he's gonna check fold here. I'd be surprised if he does. But I've seen stranger things. You're, right, you're damn right about that. So oh. he's gonna be in the blender a bit, but you know. If I was a gambling man, I would wager a small wager that he calls here, basically. Now, and he doesn't. He, he can't put him on. Can't put him on a hand. I, mean, I wonder if he's putting him on a hand like Ace King. Yeah, um, you know, but to check call the yeah. flop with Ace Queen, and then get there on the turn. What does he want to do yeah. on the river? No, Z Fish doesn't have any clubs in his hand, so some stuff. Break. Now he's blocking a hand like King Queen. Um. King Queen shouldn't be in there. Yep, agreed. Um, Unless the flop was like King Queen of Clubs, right? He could, because he, because Jay Wynn could, could three bet pre flop King Queen of Clubs. He could and get that nice turn there. Yeah, but even, the on, he, even, even on this flop, what, he was the three better, right? And he was checked him and he bet. Is that what happened? Yeah, check bet. Jay Wynn was the three better and then it went check call. So Jay Wynn could have bet King Queen of Clubs since he, you know, but. He could have a hat, had a hand like 10 jack of clubs maybe, but that's a little yeah, bit thin, I think, for Jay Wynn. I think that, um, that Z Fish is worried about hands like ace-10, maybe ace-jack. So I'm wondering if he, let's say he sizes different on the flop and goes 500 on the flop. Right. And then on the turn goes like 13, 1400. Right. So where the SPR is a lot smaller to where like Z Fish is kind of forced. I mean, I was like 30, 42. Oh, what a late. fold. See, and I would have lost a bet there. Yeah. <laughs> what a high-level fold by Z. No one's folding that at 1-2. <laughs> Absolutely no one's folding that at 1-2. What if you're playing 1-2? You're folding it. It, gets, it, de it depends against who. Hayden's folding it. Yeah, Hayden's folding it. Hayden's folding it. I've seen Hayden make some incredible folds down in TCH. Incredible folds. German Moneymaker actually probably made one of the best folds I've ever seen in live cash. Ever. Really? Boat over boat. And folds a full house? Yeah. Wowzers. I think he had like tens and the other player had king queen. And he river, I think, I don't remember where, what, what happened. Like I think king, it had the king, ten board, queen? King, yeah. king, queen, ten? Yeah, he flopped, he flopped a set of tens and the, whatever, like you said, it was king, ten, ten, king, queen. Right. Or, no. King, king, ten with a queen. King, king, ten. The, yeah, with a queen somewhere in there. Right, the other guy and he calls turn. Point. He calls turn right, and the guy like, uh, like rips the river, and like wow. moneymaker like looks over at him. He's like, you just don't have bluffs here. Like <laughs> you just don't have bluffs in this right. spot. Right. 
Carlos with King Queen making the best of it on the flop. Had the best hand pre flop. Mr. White, Queen 10. JD 5 3, flop and bottom pair. Carlos has got a C bet here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking 500 to 700 he might put out there. Maybe he's going to go small, it looks like. Yeah, three and a quarter. Mr. White going to fold Queen 10. I don't blame him. JD 5 3. Is he going to peel one off? No. We're not going to peel one off. Again, probably just a few minutes left in this in this stream, about 10, 15 minutes or so. We got five minutes, Kenny. Five minutes. Just keep, I'm right. Five minutes. <laughs> five minutes left in the stream. I wonder if these guys are going to play post stream. Right? I wouldn't be surprised. Generally, like last week, we moved them over to the to the high stakes table, just, uh, high stakes room, just to give them an opportunity to play. Oh yeah, just a little privacy, especially with, like like this many chips at the table. Yeah, I would, you know, I much prefer to play like that as well. So just for that, if you ever like put together a game, so yeah, like, we'll, we'll, we'll host it. Awesome. Yeah, just whatever. I wonder if we can put together a five ten game sometime off the stream. Yeah, off on the stream sure. and off the stream for sure <laughs> that would be great dude i can i can snap get i can snap get yeses like i could text five players right now to play 510 right now and i get i can get five players and like uh, like snap but 2550 with a 50 big blind annie Pretty like my tough, pool my man. my pool player pool is like 25 30 players i mean it's even hard to get a 510 game but not in dallas no, not in Dallas. Not in Dallas. So Underground was really big here. Underground's still kind of big here. Yeah, it uh, is. Have you played any of the Underground games? No, but I'd like to. The rake's really high. I've heard yeah. probably a lot of rake traps. Yeah, sorry for anybody that runs Underground games. I don't. I mean, if you want to do it just to, like, experience it one time. Right. Like, I'll never do it again. Yeah, I'll never do it. Assassin, you're open in with backdoor hearts. Assassin? Gonna bet here, JD. I don't. Assassin's force. got Assassin's got a double cutter here. You yeah. can make oh, an eight right. or a three. The double is double go to the back and, door. And hearts. the back door hearts. JD with the two eights. If the eight comes off, what a card that oh. would be for fireworks. Pew pew. Big pew pew. Yeah, super pew pew. Super pew pew. <laughs> um, let's see here. Moneymaker's gonna get out the way. The eights folder, and again, right. I think it's a function of a him oh like and leading. He just the, got there yeah. with the three. And this is actually like <sighs> check. Yeah, I like the check there. I like and it. I Mr. Like White it. peeling with the queen jack. He must have some devious plans here for. Yeah, the I like right? it. I I like the check back here for deception. And what a card for Mr. Assassin three of clubs. But I really would. Um, Found it interesting if uh, JD continued with the eights and the eight came off. On yeah. The wow. <laughs> now he's gonna he's gonna have to start betting queen highs. Probably, he, maybe he's trying to blow off a and, pair of nines. And, right. And Mr. Uh, White's devious plan is not gonna work out because Assassin has the stone nuts. Is he gonna come in for the check raise here? I don't know. Or is he gonna let him try to you know bet the river? Yeah. Assassin deep into the tank, thinking about how much money he's going to win in this pot. Max extraction. He says... 800. That's not enough. Let's raise it 2,000 more. A couple more yellow birds into the pot. Yeah, and Mr. Watch is not going to call here in this No. Pot. No, he's going to have to just give up. Again, probably one or two more hands. Again, thanks for tuning in to our biggest live stream, 25.50 with a 50 big blind Annie. Again, you got JD in the one seat, German Moneymaker in the two seat, Assassin just coming in towards the tail end of the stream in the three seat, Z Fish in the four seat, Carlos in the five seat, Jay Win in the six seat, Cashman in the seven seat, Mr. White's actual name is Zane in the eight seat, and Paolo in the nine seat. 61 viewers in the chat. And 
thank you guys so much for tuning in today yeah. uh, for the guest commentary uh, Poker House. Like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, you know, Eddie does a fantastic job here, and I am excited to be here with Eddie uh, on the stream. It's been a pleasure. No, it's great. It's great to have you in the booth. It's it's tough, A, to have, find a good commentator, A, and B, it's it's tough to find someone that understands the level of play at these stakes. You get I what I'm saying? I can see that. And, right. and Jim, thank you so much. I, I can see that because you really need, for the commentator, I think you need someone that's going to be, you know, fun in the, fun in the booth, right? right? And also understands the game. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, I have a hard time understanding the game every single day. But, oh, my gosh. <laughs> but I'm here. What's crazy is, like, 15 years ago, players played by feel, right? Yeah, and now they play by math. Now now it's, Solver. it's, it's, it's um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, you can study poker. I know what you're wanting to say, yeah. and I can't remember it either. Yeah. Um, the, yeah, now it's it's they play by charts. Yeah, charts. They play by it's, charts. it's very calculated now, yes. right? Math based, like you said, and so yes. it's it's quote unquote solved, but it's still not solved because there's a human element to it, yeah. right? You, you know, I always said if I wrote a poker book, there'd be one page. There's no right or wrong way to play poker. That's the end of it. That's for damn sure. <laughs> and you know. There, there's obviously some great theory out there, yep. but every human is different. Yeah. Jay, when here in the chat, gonna jump in here. It actually flopped the nuts right now on this board. So that's Jay Win right there. Hey, Jay Win, shout out to Jay Win. There you go. Oh, that was a big flip. I didn't realize how much they were flipping for. Yeah, that was pretty big. Was that a $400 flip? Must have been. <laughs> that's a good way to end the stream. And Jay went scooping it for $2,700 pot. Yeah. Let's take a look at this here. Again, thanks for tuning in for our biggest live stream, 2550 with a 15 big blind ante. Let's run the math on this. 45, it's a lot. Yeah, it table. is a lot. It's a lot. 45. Let's hear the Asian math real quick. I'm too tired to do the Asian math. But <laughs> it's definitely over 100K. So right. over 100,000, maybe 135, 140 right there, something like that. That's huge. But our our biggest stream, 2550 with a 50 big blind ante. All right, those are the chip stacks here. Let's take a look at these VPIP percentages. Yeah, Jay, when you, your card distribution tonight was was tough. Carlos with actually high, actually with the highest V pip tonight. Again, you know he likes to do a lot of lip calling, uh, and so not super super aggressive. Um, but Paolo and Assassin 2018 percent respectively down here. So these are more. V pip percentages of what you would see for more experienced players, right? Right. Like, yep. You know, studied players, what have you. Uh, Pre-flop raise percentages. Everyone else stay in. Yeah, one seat. Pre-flop raise percentages. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Not a ton of pre-flop raising. Uh, no. Mr. White with about every 20% of hands. Right. But everybody in between 12 and 19, like we said, Carlos with the highest V pip, lowest PFR. Yeah. Aggression frequency. JD, 40%, Mr. White. A lot of people up there in the 40% the yeah. mark almost. 35% and above. Yeah. Right. Most important stat in the night. Cumulative wins and losses. $6,500 winner. Yeah. And here's the thing. Even at the stakes, like the delta yeah. between the most one and the most lost is not yeah. that big it's not and because again these are very experienced players yeah there wasn't a ton of money won and lost yeah. for the stake so that was assassin saying let's be reckless <laughs> so that day like like a paolo here 6500 mr white 5200 assassin 40 and z fish was down you know a bit he was up for a bit as well jay went out in the last 30 minutes went from being about 6,500 down to just about 2,100 down. That's and a all good come up from Yeah, there. all things considered, you know, for them to, like, not lose as much in the last half hour and get some of it back, you know, not – I mean, kudos to him. Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, everybody pretty much held their own in there. Right. Big as the game is. Now I'm going to turn this on to commentary. Oh, I think I am on commentary already. So we're in there. We're in there. 
But again, they are going to be playing post stream. I've confirmed that. So I got some players coming in from you know around that I want to wanted to play in this game. So that's it for us in the booth tomorrow. Stream six to ten p.m. Five five ten match to stack. Nice little action lineup again for tomorrow. Got German moneymaker back again. Randy Sadler is going to be making his Randy route. Savage. Sad Sadler. I thought you said Randy Savage. That would, that'd be dope. If that that would have been. Uh, I got a friend coming up from Houston going to be playing tomorrow. Aaron be playing. The Queen of Felt is back. Okay. Habib, Carlos, you. Let's go. Jay Wynn, OSC. So co some content creators. We're going to have a game tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be fun action pack for tomorrow. Again, t tune in tomorrow night, 6 to 10 p.m. Uh, Incoming, yeah, how often are our poker cards changed? Are you talking about the live stream or you talked about on the floor? Because on the live stream, usually we change them out only if, like, there's a misread. Or something like along those lines. But anyway, again, thank you for tuning in. We couldn't get here to this spot if it wasn't for you viewers in the chat. Absolutely. So we appreciate you. Thank you so much. The time this Friday evening. But again, we'll see you tomorrow. And that's it for us here in the booth. Thank you guys. Signing out.